With loud music, large crowds and flashing lights, music events can be a fun night out, but that combination can also turn into tragedy. On this episode of Bad Day HQ's Top 10, we're counting down the deadliest concerts in the world. Please note, this video is about concerts to see a specific performer or band, festivals with numerous performers, nightclubs with DJs, and celebrations with multiple events will not be making this list. That includes Astro World, The Coconut Grove Fire, Beverly Hills Supper Club, and the Orlando Pulse Nightclub Massacre. Number 10, 2008 Bang Dung Stampede, The Side. A popular Indonesian metal band called The Side hosted a concert on February 9th, 2008. The venue had a capacity of 500, but 800 to 1,000 people made it into the building with even more crowding the doors outside. Attendees were experiencing suffocation, dehydration, and injuries from jostling in the wave of people. After the concert was done and attendees started trying to exit, panic ensued when people realized they couldn't move. Air began to run out for everyone, and several people ended up on the floor trampled. 11 lost their lives, and a dozen more were injured. Number 9. Cincinnati Riverfront Disaster, The Who. A crowd of over 18,000 attendees waited on December 3rd, 1979 for the doors to open at the Cincinnati Riverfront Coliseum to see The Who perform. Only one set of doors was opened and people pushed to get inside, trampling and crushing, with so much force that shoes were ripped off and bloody footprints were left behind. After things were under control, the fire department told The Who manager to cancel the show but he refused, not wanting to cause more panic. The band was completely in the dark until afterwards, and were devastated and angry that they had been performing like nothing had happened. 43 years later, The Who returned to Cincinnati for the first time and played a memorial concert dedicated to the 11 people who died and 26 others who were injured. Number 8. Manchester Arena Bombing Ariana Grande The outlier on this list these casualties were created by the deadliest terrorist attack the United Kingdom has ever seen. On the 22nd of May 2017, Ariana Grande performed at the Manchester Arena to over 14,000 attendees. A small group of terrorists, angry at Americans for intervening in the war, had created a bomb capable of killing everyone in a 20 meter radius, and one brought it into the concert. When Grande's show finished and the concert goers began to leave, the suicide bomb went off killing the terrorist and 22 innocent people, destroying the arena's foyer. Oh my god. What just happened? What going on? Over a thousand attendees were injured and all 60 of the city's ambulances were called in to get victims to hospitals. When the UK government refused to provide enough assistance, Grande organised a benefit concert and raised 17 million pounds to help the victims. Number 7. Collective Nightclub Fire – Goodbye to Gravity To celebrate the release of their new album, the metalcore band Goodbye to Gravity hosted a free concert at the Collective Nightclub in Romania. The event, held on October 30th, 2015, boasted a pyrotechnic show and science fiction elements, which brought in a crowd of 300 to 500 people. Just before midnight, the pyrotechnics, which were only regulated for outdoor use, ignited the club's ceiling which was covered in flammable, soundproofing foam. Only about 70 people realised the fire wasn't part of the show and left. Once the situation became obvious, everyone charged towards the only unlocked exit door, piling up on top of each other and compacting, whilst other attendees smashed windows to escape. Nurses from a nearby maternity ward were on the scene before any emergency help and victims were being rushed to hospitals in cars and taxis. Medical staff were over capacity and victims were being shipped out to wherever had room, even other countries. 13 survivors ended up dying of bacterial infections in these other hospitals. The Prime Minister was forced to resign after the public found out the club was granted a permit without passing an inspection. 63 people lost their lives at the club or at hospitals, including four of the five band members. One survivor committed suicide later in grief because he couldn't save his girlfriend. Number 6. Santika Nightclub, Burn Around a thousand people were attending or working a performance by the band Burn at the Bangkok Santika Nightclub on New Year's in 2009. Ironically, a burn is what brought the night to a disastrous end. Either pyrotechnics, sparklers or faulty wiring caused something in the attic or roof to catch fire. The flames spread through the ceiling and rained down on the crowd. 
One of the exits was blocked to prevent robberies, so attendees slammed towards the only door they could, crushing people in the process. Deaths also came from smoke inhalation and severe burns. It took a week for all 67 victims to be identified. The club had been designed legally as a private residence, and as a child was killed in the 21 and up facility, the owner was convicted, but only served three short years. Number five, Station Nightclub Fire, Great White. The deadliest firework accident in the United States, and one of the most haunting videos on the internet, belongs to the Station Nightclub disaster. On February 20th, 2003, the rock band Great White was performing. To accompany a high point in the song, their manager set off a fountain firework in the tiny club. The light was blinding, and concertgoers didn't realize that the walls and ceiling had also been set on fire. The alarms went off, but were not connected to the fire department. It only took 30 seconds for the crowd to compact, and after just one minute, the door was too clogged for anyone behind to escape. People who managed to get out desperately tried to pull others out the door, but it was no use. Their bones were breaking, and body parts filled each gap. The entire club was ablaze in minutes, and it didn't take long for the screams inside to go completely silent. Doors near the stage were empty, but survivors said bouncers blocked people from using them, and forced them towards the main entrance. 100 people died, a quarter of all attendees, and 230 were injured. Scientists proved that if the building had a sprinkler system, the blaze would have been held off long enough for everyone to get out safely. Number 4. Sink Set Fire, Les Storms On Halloween 1970, a rock band from Paris, Les Storms, travelled out to a small, isolated town in France for a show. It was successful, and 180 people were still in attendance at 1.40am, when someone lit a cigarette and dropped the match onto a flammable foam seat cushion. The decor in the building acted like kindling, and the attic was engulfed in mere moments. Only 30 attendees managed to get out in time, because the exit doors were padlocked and nailed shut with planks to prevent people from sneaking in. Escapees ran to those doors, and desperately tried to break them open and free those trapped, but it was to no avail. There was no telephone, so the manager had to drive two miles to find firefighters. It took so long that when rescue workers managed to open the doors, a pile of bodies fell on top of them. They found 140 deceased inside, including the entire band, and a few survivors who were clinging to life, six of whom passed away later in hospital. The manager was found guilty of manslaughter, but only served a paltry two years. Number 3. Cremanian Fire Callejeros The Republica Cremanian disaster on the 30th of December 2004 could have easily been prevented, but poor legislation and a greedy building owner were a deadly combination. The band, Callejeros, got a permit for their pyrotechnic performance, and around 4,000 people, two and a half times the building's capacity, showed up to see them. Unfortunately, there were no fire alarms, no emergency lighting, no fire suppression equipment, most of the fire extinguishers were dead, most of the doors were chained shut, and the nightclub safety license was out of date. When a pyrotechnic flare was lit, the ceiling was engulfed in flames, including a net that rained down burning, melted plastic onto people. The club's owner fled while his patrons died behind the chain doors. In total, 194 people were killed that evening. Rescue workers discovered deceased children and babies in the bathroom, which was used as a makeshift daycare so parents could watch the show. It's a small comfort though that nearly all the deaths were quick, caused by inhalation of poisonous gases, instead of the flames and heat itself. The club's owner was finally caught, but appealed and never served any jail time. Number 2. Rhythm Nightclub Walter Barnes and his Royal Creolians Orchestra On April 23, 1940, Walter Barnes and his Royal Creolians, a band from Chicago, were booked to play at a Mississippi nightclub to over 700 locals. Amid the performance, the Spanish moss by the main entrance, which had been doused in a flammable insecticide, burst into flames, likely from a match or cigarette. There was no air conditioning, so a fan blew air into the building, feeding the fire. Almost all of the windows had been boarded up to stop outsiders from enjoying the music for free. The doors opened inwards, so the fleeing crowd forced them closed. Desperate to escape, people used chairs to try to break through the walls and windows, but every opening quickly clogged with bodies. The metal structure acted like an oven, 
cooking people alive, and the fire hose just created scalding steam. Knowing death was inevitable, the band played calming music until 10 of them succumbed. Ambulances and hospital staff at a whites-only facility defied strict segregation laws to keep victims alive, while rescue workers searched through the night for any survivors. 209 people, several who were never identified, perished that night, and the town smelled of burning flesh for months. This fire is the reason that the United States created laws about building occupancy and that businesses' doors had to open outwards. Number 1. KISS Nightclub Fire Gurizara Fandangiara At the KISS nightclub in Brazil, a group of students hired Gurizara Fandangiara and opener Pimenta Asus Compassas for a back to university event. 2,000 students, 1,200 over capacity, showed up for the January 26, 2013 show. Gurizara Fandangiara lit pyrotechnics while performing, catching the ceiling on fire. The only door out of the club was the entrance, but security, assuming people were trying to skip on their tab, wouldn't let anyone leave. In desperation, attendees flocked to any door in hope of an exit, and more than 180 bodies were found in restrooms. The fire extinguishers were all either dead or fake. 242 people were killed and 600 were injured. Owners of the club were arrested, as well as band members who lit fireworks. They were each sentenced to about 20 years in jail, but never served due to jury tampering. As of when this video was made, prosecutors and family members are still fighting for justice for the victims. The most important thing to learn from this top 10 is keep an eye on your emergency exits. Over 75% of people will ignore these and go for the door they entered. Stay safe and spatially aware. Thank you for joining us for another top 10. If you like disasters, you're in the right place. Stay tuned for more stories of crime, disasters, and mystery here at Bad Day HQ.